EEG, which is a neural feedback. It's similar to a biofeedback. Biofeedback helps the brain retrain itself to take different neural pathways to be able to learn easily and effortlessly. And it does this without even having to try, more or less just showing up. We've had great results with people that have had post-traumatic stress syndrome and not just war veterans. Uh, we've had really good results with ADD and ADHD, and also on the other side of the spectrum, the autistic spectrum, including Asperger's. Neurofeedback has an interesting aspect. It began about 30 years ago. I'm not going to give you the history of neurofeedback, but it branched off from biofeedback, being able to measure the body's responses to temperature, heat, stresses. And scientists then began to apply it to the brain primarily looking at certain brain waves, anywhere from alpha, theta, gamma, or many of the beta states, the excitable states, beta one, two, and three. Being able to use this beautiful modality of retraining the brain, especially when people get into ruts or they need to excel because they've reached a plateau physically or mentally, will allow an individual to progress easily and effortlessly. The brain gravitates for, toward pleasure, it gravitates or repulses it, uh, away from pain. And when it repulses away from pain, it tends to do things sometimes in an easier way. And I might make that comparison to an individual that's a student and uh, has a term paper, and they begin that term paper the night before it's due the next day. So we'd want to get to a point where there's so much pain that we have to do it because we've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Procrastination. The tools that we have to offer here are very helpful, helping people to change their life and to do it permanently, successfully, and very easily.